Hi everyone, welcome to week five of your career success for pharmacy technicians course. Um, this week I want to remind you to make sure that you are going over all of the material for the week before attempting your midterm exam because the material in this week's um, presentation um, and in the textbooks is going to be covered on the uh, midterm exam. So please make sure that you go through and you review everything in both the English book and the How to Get a Job in Healthcare book before you try your midterm because this will be included. So first in your English book, we're going to be covering chapter six this week. Chapter six is all about adjectives, and um, you're going to look at how to identify and use adjectives correctly and to make accurate comparisons. A lot of times um, people like to use adjectives and they find one in particular and they kind of overuse it. So one of the things that you're going to want to look at is how to use other adjectives. So to not use that same descriptive word over and over and over again. So, um, you know, like they give some examples of some um, descriptive adjectives. And so, you know, somebody's handy or something like that. That's an example of a, um, a, a handy whatever or a um, fast whatever or, you know, those types of things. You want to make sure that you're not overusing um, those adjectives um, so that people don't get tired of listening to what you have to say or what, what you have to write. Um, so they give you um, some examples of different types of adjectives and how to classify them. So make sure that you are reviewing that material, obviously, before you take your midterm. Now, in addition to that, uh, we are also looking this week at step five in chapter one in your healthcare, how to uh, uh, prepare for a healthcare job um, textbook. So this is the step of what do you do now that you have the actual interview, right? Uh, what are some things to think about as far as interview questions and their responses? Um, what are the questions you should ask? Um, because believe it or not, you will be asked if you have any questions. And so you want to make sure that your only question is not how much money am I going to make? Um, that type of thing. So they're going to, um, you know, go, go through in this particular, um, section some of those four things, uh, that you need to do to prepare for the interview. First things first is you want to know as much as you can about that facility. So if you've filled out that resume and you sent everything out there, you may not even be like, oh, wow, which one was this, right? Um, and that, that's great if you have so many that you don't know which one. But even if you, you know, purposefully sent your resume to them, you still might not know everything there is to know. So make sure that you do your, your research. Know what is um, all about um, that facility. Um, and they give you some examples where it says, you know, according to your website, blah, blah, blah. So go there, go to their website, go to look at it and see what's there. What can you find out about them that they want everybody to know, right? It's obviously important to them. So you want to make sure you know as well. Um, make sure that you review the job description. And then that way you can specifically focus on some of those things in that job description. So you already know what you, is on your resume. You need to see what's on their job description, see how those two match up. And so you can show specifics about how you're able to perform that particular task or whatever. Um, make sure that you're organized. Bring with you your resume your cover letter, your references, all of that stuff, bring it all with you. Have a folder, put it all in there, make sure that you're ready to go. Um, have extras of everything because just because somebody in the hiring office set you up for an interview doesn't necessarily mean that all your paperwork made it to the person who's going to actually be doing the interviewing. So make sure that you have that. Also make sure that you are there on time. You want to make sure that if you're early, not just right on the money. Um, make sure you know how to get there. You know, don't just Google map it and hope 
for the best. Check it out ahead of time because maybe there's delays because of construction or, or things like that. Um, make sure you know what you're going to wear. Make sure you dress appropriately for your interview. Um, they give you some suggestions here, but the biggest thing is, you know, just make sure it's appropriate. Um, slacks or, or a skirt, depending on, you know, obviously if you're a man or a woman, um, you know, just make sure it's not over the top, like, oh my God, look at me, because that's not the first impression you want to make. Um, and then, like I said before, make sure you think about the questions that you're going to ask and um, not just what they're going to ask you. So they talk about the 12 questions that um, are most commonly asked and how you can answer them, but make sure you're ready to ask them questions as well. So as you go through this uh, final section um, in this chapter, uh, reach out to me this week. Let me know if you have any questions and have a great week.